Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your location news update. Hi, I'm Casey Semenza with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini University. And I'm Ryan Brong, and this is your local media news update. After a slew of car thefts in the Wayne area stemming from the beginning of October, some notable stories have been a Mercedes being stolen from the driveway of someone's home and $200 being taken from a car near Villanova. But students were shocked to hear that Cabrini became involved. On Tuesday, October 11th, a resident's car was vandalized with a rock smashing through the back windshield. This jolted students into rethinking how safe their cars are on campus. Public safety has been working to find the suspect who vandalized sophomore Gabrielle Case's vehicle and have urged students to not keep any valuable items in their car. The presidential election is coming down to the wire. With the final presidential debate happening after we record today, polls released this week show a very tight race in three crucial swing states which have lately been Republican strongholds, Nevada, North Carolina, and Ohio. A Republican candidate has never won the presidency without winning Ohio. Students across college campuses are preparing for the next month's election by registering to vote and voicing their concerns. Check out this video of what students value in each political party. I am a Republican. I'm a registered Republican. I am a member of the Republican Party. I am a registered Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I am a part of the Independent Party. I am an Independent. I am a registered Independent. I'm proud of it. Republican is somebody who believes in conservative values. We believe in personal responsibility and accountability. I believe that the people should have the right to the free market. I believe that education is a privilege. And personally, I like being Republican because I have more when it comes to immigration and other policies such as like pro-life, pro-choice. I think there's a lot of good values in the Republican Party. Not everything's perfect. Uh, I don't agree with everything, but uh, there's definitely a lot of good to be had with the party. Republicans don't depend on anybody. To me, it just means, honestly, to be an American. People should be Republicans because Republicans work hard for everything that they have. A Democrat is someone who aligns themselves with the values of social equality. It's somebody who really believes in the forward progress of humanity over any sort of business ventures. On the issue of abortion, right, I'm normally pro-choice and I find the Democrats often our pro choice as well. I also love the ideas of social justice and working towards problems like poverty, uh, racism in our country, the criminal justice system. I'm also a big proponent for climate change and uh, sustainability. I feel like the Democratic Party uh, in particular is more concerned with not just the people at the top of society. You're actively pushing forward to make positive change. An independent is someone who is a registered voter but chooses not to register with any of the really hundreds of political parties that we have in the United States. I want to have like the freedom or the ability to like vote for what I want personally and what I think is right for our country. The party in power is going to do what's necessary to keep themselves in power and the party out of power is going to do what's necessary to hurt the party that's in power. I don't think others should be constrained to one political party or to one idea. Others should be independent because it gives them that full freedom to vote and to believe in and think about the issues and care about the issues that they want. This is the most important election for current college students, so make sure your voice is heard on November 8th. Join the Cabrini community for the National Conference on Body Image. From October 26th to the 27th, Cabrini will host panel discussions, presentations, and workshops that educate and encourage students to examine their body through diverse perspectives. At 7 p.m. on October 27th, participate in a question and answer session with TLC's reality star and founder of No Body Shame, Whitney Way Thor. This event is free for students, but does require registration, since meals will be offered during the two-day conference. For more information, contact Michelle Filling-Brown at filling at cabrini.edu. November 8th, Election Day, and college students all over the country will be racing to the polls. Cabrini's academic calendar does not list Election Day as a day off. Students will have class on November 8th, making it difficult, if not impossible, for some students to get to their respective polling places. 
To learn more, read this week's editorial on www.theloquitur.com and tweet us your feedback to at Loquitur. Thanks for tuning in to News on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms by simply searching Loquitur Media. I'm Casey Semenza. And I'm Ryan Braun. Have a great week, Cabrini. Thank you.